Steve, can, can I take you back to obviously when you were a player at Liverpool? So everyone always goes on about you know how good of a player you was and obviously what you've achieved and what you've won and what you've basically what you've achieved in a Liverpool shirt. Now everyone always mentions like Istanbul in 2005. Would you? Is that your greatest achievement in terms of football? Uh, yeah, I think it's the most popular in terms of you know. Obviously, winning the Champions League is is a unique moment, um, especially as captain coming from Liverpool, being the local lad. It's it's obviously one of the most favourite moments in my career, without, without a doubt. But I think when you look back at it all and you analyse it all, obviously, my debut was one of the biggest days in my life. You know, I'd sat on the cop, I'd been on the main stand, I'd watched you for many, many years. When I first walked into the dressing room at Melwood, was it was a big day. You know, there's tons and tons of massive moments and pivotal moments throughout your career. It's not just about Istanbul, but I think a lot of people obviously put the connection together because it was me the highlight of my career, if you like. Yeah, Stephen. The, the, the reason I'm asking you that is because when I, when I think of you, and as much as look, I, I know you're an unbelievable player. That that Champions League final doesn't really resonate with me because I resonate the 2006 FA Cup final. Yeah, because I I think what you would what you'd done in that game was just, I mean it was proper Roy the Rovers. I mean for everyone who doesn't know, Stephen scored a, a last minute equaliser from about thirty five yards, and I don't mm. honestly don't think anyone else could have done that. And that was that was you grabbing a team. I ate it, what you did the year before in the Champions League final. That was you grabbing a team who were you know were dead on the feet. And everyone was shattered, and then you just came alive in in the last minute and scored this unbelievable goal. And I love that more than the Champions League final. I, yeah, I think I think if you're talking about a 90-minute performance, uh, what's your favourite performance when, for example, it, it just happened and it's difficult to describe? Because you know yourself, Robbie, when you play at that level where you've played well, it's almost like on autopilot. So you look at the 2006 performance, that's probably one of my, one of my if not the best performance over 90 minutes. Um you know, that was probably the performance that shocked myself even when you don't even realize you've got that in your locker, to be honest. But um, obviously, the, the first half in Istanbul didn't get a kick, chasing shadows. You, you're up against that diamond in midfield. You, you can't get near them. I, I got spun by Kaka for, for, for one of the goals, the Crespo one, the little dink. A lot of things went wrong in Istanbul for me from a personal point of view. Um, me and the team, we were nowhere near it in the first half. Um, but it's about the outcome. <laughs> and yeah, if you're talking course. about outcomes and, you know, worldwide uh, audiences, obviously Istanbul and the Champions League had a, as a much world audience rather than just an FA Cup final, even though the FA Cup final is massive to us, especially here in England. Um, so I think it, it comes down to the magnitude of the game and the outcome of the game. So Istanbul will always be the biggest. But if you're talking about a 90-minute performance, 2006 was much better for sure. 